I think everybody is a regular member, aren't they? Who is it? Uh, is uh, Jesse Stone a member? She's an alternate. She's an alternate. So we have another. But, yeah, but basically, yeah, but basically, everybody else is a regular five. member, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It's right here, Bob. Yeah. Where is that? I think we're sitting over here. Oh, and you okay. Have two people that you need to. Okay. Yes. Go. Yes. Okay. Regular members. Okay. So Jess is the only one right now who's a, who's an alternate member. Okay. Great. And uh, all right, then uh, everybody's a city member of, of voting. And uh, all right, the minutes um, of, of, of okay. I move to accept the minutes. Uh, I second. Uh, you second? Okay, October 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Anybody have any corrections or anything? Then we'll uh, vote on these uh, as presented. All those in favor of the uh, minutes as presented? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. All right. Um, the meeting, um, let me take and uh, go on and uh, get to our, uh, basically, oh, of the um, a good speed <clears throat> landing. I uh, just wanted to, um, basically, the revitalization group has not met. Um, they didn't meet this month. Uh, I'm pretty. I think that the, the board is probably not going to meet until March, is <coughs> when they expect to take and have um, something come back from uh, the the loan uh, applicant who is uh, applying for the um, rights to do something on the Good Speed Landing area. So there really isn't too much for the board to discuss uh, until that comes in. They can't talk to anybody else, and uh, so I think they're going to basically just wait until um, that uh, proposal comes back in, and and then uh, from there, I think then they're going to have something to talk about and uh, discuss. Um, the um, the River Valley Five Towns, uh, the EDC, um, that's. We met, uh, what was that, a week ago? Mm -hmm. And um, this week, and um, certainly had some good uh, activity. That's the five towns that get together to uh, see how we can increase tourism. Um, Irene, you want to give any update on uh, where you left off with them? Yeah. Uh, the um, One of the things that we had at the five town was, um, I don't know if you guys recall, Gina Hamilton, who came in about the Connecticut shoreline, Explore Connecticut shoreline. She and Megan, who's her partner, came in and gave us a quick presentation just to the five towns. And they were all very interested, but that was a way to get at least her, both of them introduced to those towns where she can go in and talk to businesses and stuff. But the interesting thing that came out of that meeting was, well, what about municipalities? Like, it would be really great that if you go into Connecticut Shoreline, all of these towns would be great to have something, just a highlight of the town. And they like that idea, and so actually I'm working with them right now to use East Haddam as the, as the guinea pigs, so to speak, or at least the prototype. So she sent me actually a ton of questions today, things like, um, why would you um, visit and stay in East Haddam? Um, what's the most unexpected asset? unexpected asset. I mean, just like different questions like that. I went around the building and asked people and, you know, we all kind of have the same idea. So it kind of, there was just a few things, but, you know, just to get some consensus, I didn't want to be the one to answer the questions because I might have a, you know, a slant one way or the other, but I did kind of, I asked, you know, the selectman's office, I asked planning and zoning. I tried to get education before they left, but they were gone. Um, but I kind of wanted to just get a smattering of ideas just to give her something to start on. But this gal, Jen, who I'm going back and forth with is their writer. And then we're going to look at doing some pictures and things, but it's a way to highlight the town on this website, and um, hopefully we can do that. And then, um, again, we're kind of being used as the guinea pig or prototype for it, and then we'll figure out where that goes. So that's coming, but that's kind of neat. That, that's literally happening half an hour ago. I sent her the answer to the question, so we're working right on that. You guys are getting that hot from the press. <laughs> there you go. Did you go to their presentation this morning? Were you able to make it to that? No. No, I had... It? I had a meet and greet in East Hampton, and I don't know where else I was. But would you like to add anything to that? I would like to say that Mike made the Mike kind of yeah. instrumental in no, putting I mean, this together, and I think that 
after mm -hmm. you discussed, and I, yeah. I don't forget now exactly who brought up about the municipalities, but we've I think he's... Yeah, we've been talking about that all along. And, and, and I think that... It's something that it's been a process, mm -hmm. and yep. they finally decided, you know what, this might be a good idea. Well, certainly at that meeting, yeah. it looked like yep. uh, between what Irene brought up and uh, yeah. that uh, municipalities would be a big asset to... Mm -hmm. I think the five-town thing that we're doing, I think that's kind of unique, and maybe that's why mm -hmm. it, she realized how... Because she might go looking for other municipalities that are working together. Yeah. She might not find yeah. them. But at least when she goes into a town and she talks to economic development of that town or whatever people call it, the plan or whatever, mm -hmm. um, at least she'll have, you know, from the five towns, she'll have a good um, um, thing. Oh, and the other piece of that was is that Pat ben Benzies is part of, she's from Eversource, and she um, suggested that maybe Eversource could come up with a grant to pay for those five towns municipalities um, to get on the Con Huge, Explore yeah. Connecticut. So, because right. Eversource does mm -hmm. this on a regular basis, you yeah. know, as far as grants, and they look for unique first time things and they they try and seed, you know, do seed money everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there might even be a grant that would pay for our entree into this if we get charged. I don't even know if we'll get charged. Mm -hmm. But I think we'll the see. big thing here is being a part of this has opened up some doors up some for us. Doors, yeah. And uh, I mean, having ever sort of there sit on this board and mm -hmm. the five town board, um, just because that's their, their economic development yeah. within Eversource. And uh, so it has certainly uh, given us some, and we got another grant from them, didn't we? Didn't we get a Yeah, that's later. Okay. Yeah. okay. And yeah. so, yeah, so there is, uh, I, I think there's really some benefits here Nobody for the community to, yeah. to be involved in this. And, uh, and there's some pretty good players here. Yeah. I mean, the, the Valley Railroad also sits on the board. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've got uh, some good players that are really like to participate and, uh, on that. I think it's Megan that has a, a longstanding relationship with the railroad because she was their marketing person oh, okay. in, in another position that she had, too. So that, that could go a long way. So. Yep. And uh, so a really nice combination. Yeah, that's for sure. And, uh, and actually, Don, if you're interested, I should connect her with you for the campground. Because she, she could definitely uh, do some things marketing-wise and get you out there, too. I was impressed with the whole presentation. And yeah, uh, it's good I, stuff. I definitely think it would be worth, uh, because uh, she and seems to be able to put it together. They're pushing it out there. Here. Yes, yeah. she is. Yeah. 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 They're pushing it out there to like New York, to Boston, to yeah. you know New Jersey. I mean, they're, they're going you know beyond what we do. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've gone to up and down ninety five, but um, they're going out to you know people who have money and areas that have money and you know people that are really looking to find a place to go and a whole area. And so it, regionally, it's great for us. Yeah, I think it's definitely given us some exposure that we wouldn't get otherwise mm -hmm. uh, with that group, that's for sure. Um, and we're already on the website. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I, you know, we're there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is a good, that's always good. The uh, five town was three town last year? Yeah. 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 What are and the so five towns? Uh, Essex, uh, Deep uh, River, town. Chester, Haddam, East Haddam. And, uh, and the side of the river. So right. some yeah. yeah, then we jumped there. across. But basically, it's, it's Middlesex County. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we yeah. ride with that Middlesex yeah. County. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I think that uh, it, it's a good <clears throat> it's a good combination. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, and, and everybody's participating and got, got, I think, some good reps on, on the board. You know, uh, it's got uh, great uh, potential for, uh, for other things going on here. Um, Moody Center, which you know, basically you've just been talking about a little bit here, and uh, of course the pharmacy is the, the big uh, item over there. And uh, so, I have spent uh, certainly some time with uh, with people who are interested in opening the new pharmacy, um, and it's it's been nice to uh, basically see the immediate action here. Um, they came in. Uh, introduced them to Brad Parker so that Brad uh, basically got right on it and uh, and they and opened it up to uh, basically the seniors so that they know that uh, there is a, a pharmacy in Higginham who uh, I, I I met with them right after this all happened I said you know we need we need somehow to be able to get prescription over here in East Town 
And, uh, and I asked him about, you know, could he put in a storefront over here so that we could just have people go in and get their prescriptions? And, uh, and he said he can't do that. You, you, you can't have a uh, place where you dispense of drugs without it being a licensed pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That's the only people who could do that. And uh, so then we talked a little bit more, and he said, well, uh, he would take and offer the town a free delivery um, to anybody who orders a prescription, and, and he'll bring them to your door. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. This is a big town. <laughs> and uh, so he said, you know, I can't do that forever. Uh, but um, so that's in that next week uh, following that, um, he basically made a deal with uh, Bruce Dutch to um, rent the uh, Joe Albuquerque's old building there, and uh, and he's going to apply to have a drugstore there, and, uh, and he he thinks it's something that he could get open by February. So uh, um, you know he's certainly trying uh, extremely hard. Um, he met, came over. He met with uh, the seniors. Uh, with Brad, and uh, so at that time, I, I think he picked up uh, certainly some some prescription uh, business there. And uh, but uh, from you know from the conversations I've had with him, nice man, uh, certainly very interested in doing business in East Adam, and um, so I think that uh, we got a good possibility here. And uh, and and what he's talking about is building a new store uh, in East Adam. And I mean, to build new, that's pretty impressive. And uh, so he's looking around and see what the possibilities are. I think he's going to take a look at the whole situation out here and, and uh, see what, uh, see if he can make sense out of uh, doing something new. And, uh, and he said basically the existing location there, um, he wanted something bigger. Uh, he didn't feel that was a big enough location uh, for square footage. Uh, so... Uh, so he's just interested in building uh, something that's uh, a, a bigger facility, which, uh, you know, that's, that's all great for East Adam. And uh, let's uh, hope it continues on and keeps going. And uh, <coughs> anybody else have any comments or anything on it? And uh, so we'll just, uh, you know, we'll keep working with him. And Irene's going to take and work with him. And... Uh, and see if we can't help uh, basically coordinate that and bring it to uh, bring it. Hopefully, can get him at least to start it over there in the, his temporary headquarters over there on WF Palmer Road. Uh, first selectman, uh, gee, I wonder we must be doing something tonight, huh? <laughs> we we have a new first selectman, and uh, I'm sure that. Uh, I hear will, from him next month. Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> I will talk to him uh, sometime this month and uh, kind of brief him on a little bit on what we're doing and uh, and also ask for some direction from him as to what he would like us to concentrate on and uh, and see if uh, he could take and be at our next meeting. That would uh, just to uh, give us a little idea as to what what his thinking is with economic development. Um, Economic development with the tax incentive program. Um, yep. Maybe we, I mean, you'd like to just yeah, just on real quick. Staley's, we have yes, yeah, we have an application from Staley for the tax um, business and um, tax and business incentive program, and so um, we're going to work this through the system now to see. I actually was just talking to um, Linda just moments ago, another hot off the presses, um, to see where we are with this. Um, he actually had submitted this prior to the um, cidery opening up, um, but there's um, situations where once you finish a project, that's when you get the um, incentive program, you know, completed and all that. So we're going to work this through whatever steps are necessary to see if he can qualify for that. It'll come back to us probably for the next meeting, um, but it has to be um, formally accepted by the town through the selectman's office then we get a copy, but everything is like dated and there's a certain set of criteria that it needs to go through. Um, and But now that it's completed, um, it can probably go through those steps pretty quickly. So that's one. And then they're also putting one in for the um, state has given municipalities the option to do 
an abatement program, tax abatement program for farm buildings. So if they put up a barn, such as the cidery barn, or they have a barn, such as their equipment, you know, place, or their, you know, where they're storing their vegetables or their apples or whatever, you know, whatever they're doing, their, their greenhouse, you know, those are things that we can give farms tax incentives or tax abatements, you, and we can decide we can give them up to half or 50% of an abatement on their buildings to encourage farming in the area. So we do have people who have come in to, you know, do farms, and we continually to have that. We don't have to give 50%, you know, 50%. We can do 10%. We can do 5%. But we have an opportunity given to us by the state. We have to pass an ordinance. So this is something that's going to take forever. Um, but it is there, and I think one of the things that I think is honestly pretty great about a change in leadership in a town is, is that maybe we have somebody who wants, I don't know yet, but maybe we have somebody who wants to put the open for business sign up there and make it, and that will only help us in the EDC. Um, but this is something that can do that for us by putting that out there. Do we need more farms? If there's land, there's lots of family farms out there and family pieces of property that if we did something, we have all kinds of farm stands and farm farmers markets and things, and that's all commerce. So we just want to be able to be it easier for people to do this. And if we can give them a little incentive, at the same time, you know, you give somebody an incentive, then, then who has to pay that? That's not being paid in. So that means it falls all on us who don't have farms. You know, so there's two sides to the coin, but I think we have to look at this as a possibility that we can offer. So Who, who administers the uh, farm program? Which one? The, the farm program that we're, you're talking about right now. You the say the state abatement. The so abatement. the state passed a, a, a legis legislation or statute that said that municipalities have the choice to decide whether or not they want to give tax abatement programs to agricultural entities. Now, would this be handled by the assessor, or is this handled by EDC, or is this handled by the first selectman's office? Probably going to have to go ultimately through. It's going to have to go to town meeting. It's going to have to go through everything. But then I think once we establish. Okay, through zoning, through everybody's got to, it's got to go through everything. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, once but it's But we a have to, as EDC, it's yeah. our job to make the case for it. Right, but who, right. once it gets to be an approved product, who is going who to accept Who administers the tax? Well, then it'll be the, the, the assessor, because <coughs> the then, assessor. It'll be, then it'll be a done deal. And so we won't be involved, involved in no. that part of it? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. We have to be... We have to, like, we have Staley that wants to do this or is bringing this to our attention. Yep. So we can use him as our test to say, this is a good program. This is, pl I mean, look what all that Staley's done. Like, some of the stuff that he has to put down for this program, the big business and tax incentive program, is the same kind of thing that what these farms will do for us in East Haddam. We've got all these properties that people just want <coughs> to put to open space versus something that could actually feed our families. You know, we have families who are going to the, you know, to the food bank. Well, now we have all these farms that are giving, you know, fresh food to people, and that's so much better than, you know, processed food. You know, there's all kinds of reasons why this is a good thing. Um, and But at the same time, like I said, there is, again, two sides to the coin in that we're not collecting all the tax money that we could. That's why maybe the incentive doesn't need to be 50%. Who determines that It could that be percent? whatever the town thinks is a good idea. So it's going to be the selectman is going to think about it, we're going to think about it, the zoning is going to think about it, and then everybody's going to come to an agreement, and that's when it will go into effect. But this is writing an ordinance for our town. <coughs> so this is a process. Move, but they're not going to subsidize the cost. No. So what happens is we just lose part of our tax base. Correct. Right. So, yeah. Right. But it's a It gets spread over a smaller yeah. Right. Lot. So yeah. there has to be a, a, a basis for making this a good thing. So again, is it the fact that we're saving these um, land masses from becoming just open space and then, you know, a farm would be better. I mean, we can talk about that. We can talk to, we can get the Agriculture Commission involved to give us their take on, you know, whether or not is, is a farm better or is open space better? What, how does that serve our town? Is that, was one better than the other? You know, we can look at all of those things and say, okay, you know what, as, as EDC, we can say, because of what they came up with and then what they came up with, it's a good idea or this is how we feel about it and it's something to consider. Huh. You know, it, it, honestly, with Staley, it's, um, I think he figured out that it's like $700. I mean, it's not a lot of money. And I, and I don't even know if that's, that might not be 50%. I can't imagine that would be 50%. But 
Um, well, it's only on the buildings. And, on the uh, building itself. So, but, so it's but, not a lot. That's why it might not be a bad idea to just go ahead and do it because it's not going to hurt us that much in the grand scheme of things. But it does say we're open for business. We are in, interested in the agri tourism, you know, because that's what we are, is we've got a lot of tourists in this town, and we've got to find a way for them to, on their way home from the from the castle, or, you know, they've come to visit us for a show, but they're driving around town looking for a place to eat, you know, that, oh, look, there's farm stands, I want to go back, oh, there's a pick-your-own farm, we don't have one of those yet, maybe we'll get one of those, and, you know, all of those things are good things, maybe we'll get a winery in town, besides the apple wine, you know, we'll get a Great wine place. No, so you never know. Today who's interested in something like that? Yeah. Here. So who is somebody I talked to today is interested. In, yeah. They just bought a property in town. And so they could a oh, winery. They could take a winery and go to Colchester or East Hampton or somewhere else, or they could come to Saddam, and that's more traffic. And and again, I'm not looking for like to get there, you know, put up stop signs and and traffic lights, but <laughs> have no it, fear. I don't think we're gonna yeah, worry about. But I think but, it's I think yeah. you know to get more people coming in. You know, maybe we get enough, but you know, people coming in that you know this is a great place to stay, and we get somebody who wants to put an inn in. And you I know? think so, you know, talking about the winery, that they have that one down in, in Lyme, and uh, and that's growing very well. Um, they're have doing a seen, nice job. You have to go check out Rose Winery in um, Branford, North Branford. Oh, beautiful! Yes. Oh, you were oh there? Oh my God, yes! I gotta get down there. Stunning! Yeah. So gorgeous! Oh my God, you guys have that's to go see Rose see. Rose Vineyards, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and it's in North Brantford, yeah. It's really great. You got to go. It's awesome. Uh, Are they in the old building where they have their artist displays? No, no, it's a brand new building. No, it's a brand new building, and they have a wine cellar that's this big. The, the door opens like this, and it's a curved door, and it's all like stone. It looks like you're in a monastery. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. It's really, really cool. And then upstairs, there's a huge vaulted ceiling. And you can look out onto the wine, you know, you can see the, the wine vines out here. And it's just a beautiful view. And it's right up at the top of the hill above Bishop's Orchards. So, and it's just, it's an extension. It's like Staley's. It's an extension of a family's that they just Farms. keep growing and, and doing new parts to the farm. And it's, it's just, it's awesome. Yeah. It's so great. It, that, that would be such a great thing to have in East Haddam, uh, uh, something like that. And uh, takes the right piece of property, right uh, orientation, and everything else. But boy, it would be a wonderful thing to have. But uh, all right. So, do we need to act upon anything on this application, or is it already in the works? That's what I have to find out from Linda. Right. And because she hasn't done one in a while, we have to figure out where we are with this one. Did he give you anything that you have from? No. Basically, he didn't have any. He gave me something, but it was incomplete. Um, because he had no numbers, and uh, okay. so basically, so this I have has numbers. The only okay. thing I'm missing on this is um, question number eight talks about why is this a great idea for East Adam? What have you done? What is it? You know, what's the economic development? And that's something he has the answer. Piece, yeah. To briefly describe the economic benefits that have completed the project, we'll realize for the town of East Adam. And the only thing he put on here was that he filed has filed on April 13th, which that's the piece I can't find. And then he also said that he hired two new employees in the last two months, So, um, which is great. That's yeah. good. So yeah. that's one. But I, I just think it, we could use a little bit more mm -hmm. just to make it sound better to, yes. to yeah. go through the yep. process. Yep. No, so I, I'm just looking for more fluff. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we ask him to give us a, a, I did. a, a more complete uh, yeah. Section 8, or uh, item numbers 8. And that's it. And the only other thing he didn't fill in was the map and all that, and I got that from Jim. So okay. everything's just about ready. But okay. we need. I to think basically the, the process, uh, from my understanding, is, is EDC has to accept it as a, as a complete application. And then we basically turn it over to the selectmen. But I yeah, believe we'll see. It says complete application to submit two copies to the Board of Selectmen's office, begin review period by town. And so she told me that she gets two copies, she gives us one. But I think she starts the clock. <laughs> but she's going to look. We're going to look at. Okay, um, here, 45 day review period by for, economic for development. Yeah. Okay, so the clock has not started because this goes, it first gets filed with the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen hand it back to, hand it to EDC. Mm -hmm. And then EDC has 45 days to act upon it. Right. Okay. Okay. But she's going to look up the, they haven't done one of these in a while. Um, 
Dutch did one. Um, Julia Balfour was going to do one, but now she's not she doing that She never did. Um, but so the, she Eddie, has, they Eddie's had auto body did Eddie's, it. Yep. She's and then Eddie's. also um, New England Propeller did it. Right. Um, so those so she's going to go look at one of them to just check because she hasn't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. So she's just going to check because she has a file that has every step already done with okay. a little checklist thing and so so because this, this is kind of I think this needs to be done up a little bit because I think this is what we give people like if you know if Mike wanted to do something in town I would give this to you and you would go through the checklist yeah but I think there's pieces of it that's kind of missing so we're going to look at that when I go through it with her okay I think it's important to note that it's going to stay in the tax, tax list and not fall in an open space which most of the farms are doing right now. Right, because so that's the only way that they can do it for um, estate purposes. Yeah. Um, estate, it's a, a farm is a huge estate problem for a family. Yeah. And the only way you can get out of that is to donate it to open space. Yeah. So there's got to be something that... The rights to the farm. Right. Yeah, or any, any private business, yeah. any small business. You're trying to get it into the next generation. It's a huge tax problem. It's huge. And, uh, and it certainly, it usually means you got to sell it because there's no way you can pay all this tax. Well, the, the, you know, the next generation can't come up with all this cash uh, to basically fund uh, getting their own business back. Right. And uh, so, yeah, it, it is. It's something that uh, there are ways to do it, but uh, you sure want to make sure that you go through the proper channels, that's for sure. Okay, so this will probably come back to our just next meeting probably okay yeah and um, we should have everything in place so that we know where it is okay or it could already be either way it'll probably come back to us because it could already be kind of like the timeline because she has one from january of 2017 that's in the works for him but that was an incomplete one okay it's not completed and okay. uh and, and basically i had that conversation and right. he didn't have numbers and, okay, well, uh, the numbers are on this one. Okay, and and those numbers should be private. Those should be, you see them, um, okay. but that's not something that should be, okay. everybody in the world sees his number. Okay. And uh, so I think that should be the selectman's office, you know, yourself, and uh, All right. and because and, uh, I think that, that that's somewhat uh, okay. private information. And, right. uh, so, uh, although when it goes to a town meeting, I don't know. I guess that's something... I'll find out. Find out. Yeah, see, I'll get all see, the, see yeah. what it is and, uh, and see how, um, how much of that has to be released. I remember when... Um, um, Dutch? No, New England, um, uh, New England Propeller came through. Um, and they requested that the information be held, uh, the numbers be held um, privileged. Um, you know, you can give about stuff, but there is... And, there isn't anything there that, you know, there isn't any financial statements or anything like that or the business or anything, but uh, but they requested it, and, and I know that that's the way Pete handled it. Um, he basically was just the chairman who had access to it, um, and it, it didn't go out at public meetings and uh, town yeah. meetings and all that sort of thing. But you can check out what's the proper way to do it, um, and, and maybe we can... Uh, and just respect people's privacy a little bit uh, with the financials, that's all. Okay, um, okay. have anything else on that? Are, are, nope, okay. that's it. That's all we got. All right. And, uh, uh, okay. Hmm. Um, could we, um, it isn't on the agenda here um, as far as... Um, your report. Um, do you so, want to finish, do the business expo? Because that's already happened. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, I do. I, um, Mike? Mike, you want to just give us a little update on the business yeah, expo? We, I mean, we had a great turnout for the, for the expo. We, in, in the classroom section, we had about 25-ish people throughout the day. And then throughout the course of the entire day, there was about 50 people coming and going. The business, I guess, showcase that we had in the gym was pretty well attended. We would have liked to have seen a lot more attendance to that. But... There was a lot of business going back and forth between the people that had tables set up there, which was nice. And everybody that I did talk to they either attended or had a table there had nothing but great things to say about it. They were very happy and impressed with it as well. Good. Including the speakers. Yeah. It, it, it You did a very nice presentation. It looked good. It, yeah. It, it looked very good. Yeah. I mean, for just the second year doing it, it 
yeah. worked out pretty well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. No, no, and and it, it, it just had a nice appearance to it. Going up in attendance, mm -hmm. both on the, you know, the, the vendor side as well as the uh, participant side, I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. We had a couple of uh, people from the surrounding towns that were here, you know, in different capacities. And we kind of met after the fact, and they're interested in doing something like that in the other towns as well. So we got Colchester and we got East Hampton so far that are willing to kind of come together and help out with something like that, as well as expanding the different business associations that we have in town as well. No, yeah. okay. So it would cool. be nice, nice if we, we could combine to yeah. have it mm -hmm. all centralized because yeah. it's hard for everybody to do, you know, to it have is. three of these to do. Yeah. It'd be nice yeah. to have one and everybody comes to that. We've got the that. perfect facility for it and the yeah. other towns don't. Yeah. So that, that, that's, you know, nice in our favor too. Yes. Yeah. Um, the only other thing, in the last meeting we did vote for a donation from the EDC. That did fall through. For the yeah. printing? Yes. Um, no, I basically said, I, we could do that, right? Okay. Didn't we say we could do that? Because we, we submitted the invoice for the for the printing costs. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, who has the invoice? You do. I must. Well, I have Bob's it. got it, and I can forward it if you'd like to. Okay. I've got a, I've got as long as somebody has it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it, so I don't know what it is. Even though it's over, it's still not too late to donate. Yeah. Oh no. No. Oh no. Okay. Um, and but the, the only other thing is with the uh, the business association. Um, I, I think as the EDC, we missed an important meeting last month. We had the um, candidates were there. There was a number of business that were there that did bring up some valid questions and points, and we we definitely. Should have had a little bit more of a showing on the EDC side. Yep. Um, Jess has put it out to the business association where she, she's looking for a wish list. You know, how can the EDC and the business association work better together? Yep. And I, I've talked to a couple of the businesses in town and asked them for the same thing too. So once we get that, we'll uh, bring By it all means, meetings. bring that to us so that we can take and see how we can address. Mm -hmm. uh, the major concerns that the business association has and uh, how can we make it easier mm -hmm. to, to basically operate. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what can come from that. It's that daily operation mm -hmm. uh, and, and what can we do to make that work better as well as, you know, sure, we always like to do it for somebody new coming in, but what well, is it like for that business there? who's right, right there now yeah. and, uh, and to do something? And, uh, and I would really like to get into the incubator too mm -hmm. and, uh, and see if we couldn't um, have, see if there's a need for it. And if there is a need, see if we could find somebody who wanted to make the investment to do an incubator. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it seems like there is, we have so many businesses that are out there in their garages mm -hmm. and uh, that if we could get them into that next step, the next step. and uh, to, to get them into, mm -hmm. I don't care if it's 500, 600 square feet. Right. It's just so that they, they would have us up front. Yeah. And uh, Deep River did that and it did a beautiful job with it. And uh, it was down there in the, in the basically in the quarries down there. And uh, and they filled up immediately down there. The town actually built them. Really? Yep. The town built the, the facility and they built the roads and they built the infrastructure for it. I can't picture and, where that is. Um, it's, it's basically um, Route 80. Uh -huh. um, if you're coming off, let's say, Exit 5, and you, and you basically go over, I don't know what that is, that road from Deep River over mm -hmm. to um, Route 80, and then you take a right if you're going towards yeah. Killingworth. Yeah, it's right there on the left hand side. There's a big flat, a lot of big flat land in there. Okay. On the left hand side is where um, there's a big quarries in there, and uh, they're they're basically big sand quarries. And um, and right as you go in there, um, there is basically a plat, a plat, Platwood Farm. It's the old Platwood Farm. And as you go in there to Platwood Farm, they have, uh, I mean, it's a big facility now, and uh, uh, the big uh, garbage companies are in there, and... Um, um, Is it more that type where it's for, like, the smaller construction companies that need 
it's, it's not it's, offices. It's it's basically offices with uh, storage space. Uh, they're probably in the twelve hundred square feet okay. bracket. Overhead door, an office, mm -hmm. and and basically enough you can get your truck in and a little bit of supplies. Mm -hmm. So for it work for a plumber, works yeah. for electrician, yeah. works for anybody in the trades, mm -hmm. um, something on that line. Um, but uh, they've since they have basically sold it off um, and. And basically, so the town is out of the out of the buildings, yeah, nice. and uh, but uh, they maintain the roads mm -hmm. and they're, they're town roads. So, but it was it was something where I think they started off with six. They built another six because that immediately went. The next six immediately went, mm -hmm. and um, and so it ended up being quite a little success story for them. And uh, so I, I, it's it's a good. Um, a uh, model to yeah. take and have and uh, see how they did it. And uh, I was impressed. Yeah, you done. made a motion last month to donate $125 towards that. Right. Yep. Uh, right. If funds were available, could right. we not do that? And they were. So we were. found the funds. Okay. And so basically, we have that motion right. on the floor. And it just had, it couldn't be a cash. We didn't have any way in which to do it with cash. So basically, we 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 yeah. basically That's supplied good. them with some printing stuff, and we could put printing through our budget. Okay. And uh, so what we will do is we won't even have to um, act upon that. It's already been acted upon, yeah. and we yeah. will submit it to um, basically the powers to be and, and, okay. and get a check yeah. to, over okay. to the business association on that okay. and uh, to cover that. And would you just send me over another copy of the invoice on that? And, uh, or send it to Irene. It's much safer to send stuff to Irene. I'll send it to both of you. <laughs> okay, send them to both of <laughs> you. How much is the invoice for? $125. Oh, it's funny how that works out. Yeah, it, it came out just perfect. Perfect. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything. No. Just put it in and it gets paid. Yeah, nice, nice clean stuff. Good. All right. Um, I'm going to... Just like, real quick, the next uh, business association meeting is November 20th. Okay. From 6.30 today at the um, Brush Mill by the Waterfall in Chester. Oh, really? We're expanding. Oh, wow. 6.30 to... Um, to 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. This is the first time you've gone out of town, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What brought that about? They, I think it was Tracy that um, approached them about appetizers for the Business Expo. And in lieu of paying for the membership or paying for, you know, a space at the expo. They donated the uh, appetizers and wow. a little bit more. Where are you located? Brush Mill by the Waterfall in Chester. It's, what is it, Exit 6? Exit 6, yeah. and it's, you get off, you take a left-hand turn, they're right there on the right-hand side. you got to go over the bridge in order to get down to their facility. It's kind of down the hill. It's an old mill. It's an old mill building. It's a pretty there. place to go eat. That old restaurant? Yes. 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 Same restaurant. Yes. That, well, you know, they that, that that family they own Town Tavern before the oh, Town Tavern yeah. now, and that was Peter. Peter was running that, and Peter runs the place down yeah. there. And um, Joslow originally, originally he had the brush factory. Well, no, he had the, he started the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Joslow was the one who actually made it into yeah, the restaurant. Likewise, at the Delson House. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And he he put owned, a lot of money into the G House. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He, he put a lot of money in all his restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, and that's um, any particular thing going on at that meeting? Or? Um, they are having the elections for the uh, the board and just the general meeting. That, okay. That's the big thing that's going on. The elections, okay. Yeah. Okay. I will try to take and make that because uh, I agree with you that uh, we need to be represented there. I think that, you know, we're going to certainly, between Irene and myself, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, one or the other will certainly try to make um, those meetings because I think it's important that we have some, uh, some eyes and ears there yeah. and to hear what's going on. Okay. Irene, would you be sure. ready to uh, yep. give a little Adding. administrator's report here? Yeah, so some of what we've already talked about. Um, the first thing on my list, though, is the village stroll. We'll just pass those down. Mm -hmm. um, this is December 7th from 2 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. It's a Saturday. And just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. We've been kind of working on this all year, but now it's November, and this is going to happen in December. So um, we really need to talk about it. 
Um, we have collected about $2,200, a little bit over $2,200 for sponsorships. Um, what I'm passing around is the sponsorship list that we sent out to various businesses in town looking for sponsorships. Um, the Santa's main helper is really taken. Eversource has given us a $1,000 grant. We had to use EHBA. I applied for the grant and filled it all out, but I used EHBA because they have to write the check to a nonprofit, and technically the town is not a nonprofit. Um, so they have um, given us a check, and I gave it to EHBA, and I'm waiting for the check back from them. Um, we have already three ELF-level sponsors. We have Jewel Yoga, Julia Balfour, and Centerbridge Group. Centerbridge Group is the group that is putting together the plan for the village. And um, I contacted them and said, you know, it might be a good idea for you to get your name out there a little bit so people know who you are and you're being a participant in a village event. So um, that was a good call. And then we have nine reindeer. And so far we have Tom Comer, Novak Brothers Landscape, Two Ross and Cats, Goodspeed Opera House. And then a couple of true believers have come in. We have East Adam Vet and um, a woman named, if anybody knows her, Audrey Kyle Oates. A lovely lady in town who has given us, she gave us $15, but, you know, I put her into the true believer. I mean, whatever people want to give, they can right. give, right? Um, but Do you know somebody, what she, does she have a business or anything? No, she has a P.O. box. I don't even know where she lives. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she was very nice. So um, yeah. we have a Facebook page right now, and you will start seeing as you go around to area businesses and municipal offices and things, you're going to see a little snow globe, and the snow globe says save the date. And it has a picture of the Gelston House, or I'm sorry, Goodspeed Opera House, and Santa's flying overhead, and it's full of little snow, and it's a snow globe, and they're out there saying save the date, so people are picking them up and shaking them, and they're like, oh, it's a snow globe. Oh, wait a minute. And so just like a, you know, an awareness piece, um, we're already going in the site, into the Connecticut tourism site on the state level for this, and um, we're going to, you know, we've been talking about it with the um, five towns. So um, we're sharing it everywhere. We're making it an event on Facebook, and we're hopefully there's a lot of people who came in. I also f passed out little snow pieces of snow globes that look like a snow globe, but it was just a picture that said save the date, and I passed it to every single little kid in their um, Halloween costume when they came by the EDC office. So all the parents were like, oh, oh we want to go, we want to go. So we're really trying to promote this. We're going to send a flyer out to the schools. We've got posters coming, all that kind of stuff. So, and you can see on the top of the flyer where it says we're going to visit with Santa, we're going to have carriage rides, um, we have um, a holiday craft sale going on at St. Stephen's, the, we have a maple sugar shack, Eric Anderson's going to do that on the lawn somewhere, we haven't figured out his spot yet, we have fire and wind, um, the fire twirlers, they're going to do some um, things on the lawn at Julia Balfour, we have um, a strolling juggler who's going to be running around doing various different crazy things, um, we're still looking for carolers. We might, depending on what kind of um, sponsorships we get, we could maybe pay for a group of costumed carolers to walk around. Um, we have a Kringle beer fest happening in the beer garden at Gelston. So that's happening then, too. And then we also have selfie sticks that are going to be put around that people can just go around and take pictures. There's going to be one down by the gazebo because we can plug in a Christmas tree down there, and we'll have luminaries up and down the road. They'll only obviously be really seen um, between like four and five, but you know, it gets a little dark, so it'll be pretty, mm -hmm. but it won't need to necessarily light the streets because they don't, they're not that bright. I did reach out to Eversource about lighting, like temporary lighting, so that we can make it a little bit more brighter around town. Because it does get kind of dark, especially on a cloudy day down there. And going um, up that hill, it's going dark. Going up the hill, it's kind of dark. dark. And um, that's where we got the $1,000 grant. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we'll take the grant. Because there's really not a lot that they can do. Like I said, can we plug into a pole and get electricity somehow? <laughs> like, yeah, no, I mean, you really can't no, do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I think out of the box, so I was trying to make something happen. But anyways... That's what we've got so far. So we have $2,200 plus um, for, um, you know, money to pay these performers. Oh, and I'm sorry, we have um, musicians that are going to be playing inside the library. And we're looking at a story time hour. Higher Grounds is going to do something. The Sweet Shop is doing something. Dutch is, is cooperating with LaVita. They're going to be doing something. Um, Gelston and LaVita are doing a Christmas menu so that when it's over at 5 o'clock, we can all go inside and eat. 
Um, so it's going to be great. Yes, you know, I, I think making it, the most out of not much down there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I I think you, you know? put together an awful lot here. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. So yeah. hopefully we'll. So we wanted it to come. Like more. Yeah. It sounds like more. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, and so what I wanted to find out, uh, still, like I said, we are pulling together these sponsors and all that. But I would love to know if we can get anything out of the EDC to help with what I want to do is I want to put together a print, printed card, like a palm card, you know, like the political palm cards, like but smaller. And I thought I had a copy of the one that I picked up in Gettysburg last year, but it's really pretty. It's, it's like red with white lettering and it has, you know, Christmas doodads around it. But it's basically the schedule for the day. And people can pick this up ahead of the thing, and we can leave that same place where we put the snow gloves. But we can also have them there in various places during the event, and we can, you know, get them done. Or, or we can put them in the um, newspaper as an insert, like we did before. So I'm waiting. Are on we a talking quote. about something like this, a half a page? Yeah. Is that it's what it is? Be, yeah. Yeah. It's been like. I mean, it might even be like this. That, okay. You know, yep. that something they can stick in their pocket if yep. they want it, but. It's going to be a little thing that's going to say East Haddam Village Stroll 2019, and it'll say this is what's happening here, here, and here, you know, and just kind of something that says brought to you by, you know, thank you to the sponsors. Here's our sponsor list on the back. Um, we're also looking at hopefully putting up banners and things on the carriage ride because that is that is Eversource. They have paid for that. Um, well, almost all of it, but enough of it to say just give that to Eversource. Um, he's charging us a lot more than he did this than last year. Last year, because it didn't work out right, I ended up paying for seven hundred dollars worth of carriage rides last year. Um, it just that's what happened. And this wow. year they're charging us eleven hundred. Why I don't know. Hmm. So it is what it is. We need them. It's going to make it look great. It's oh yeah, be great. Yeah, you know, it's just part of the charm. But it's they're not going to go as far because last year they went all the way down um, Premier Road and they came out Lumberyard. And it was a really pretty ride over there. But it took forever, like not enough people got rides. Not that there were a lot of people there. But this year we're going from Galston to the library and back. Mm -hmm. That's it. Up and down the hill. And that's where you want it. You want the visibility right in that one little area there. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, so we have the excitement there. Um, so I'd love to be able to get some kind of money out of the EDC to help with the printing of this. And maybe okay. the supplies for the luminaries. Yeah. Um, and who knows? We might get enough sponsors that I won't need it, but... We what what kind of money are you talking about? Yeah, well, I just sent a text to the printer, and I thought he'd give me a thing, and okay. he didn't. All right. Um, um, I honestly don't know. Yeah. Um, um, you're going to need it before our next meeting, though. I, I mean, exactly. That's, not gonna that's give what you I'm saying. Time. If you guys can clear it, you know, I'm not looking for... I no. mean, I mean, probably if you were... Uh, are it, we talking something well, like... Well, we know the, the booklet charged us... 1500 for 10,000 of those, right? Yeah. Or no, 5,000 of those. Yeah. So it's not going to be... I yeah, mean, are we talking $400? Uh, it could be two to 300 maybe? All right. What, can we, what can we do five and I, if I spend only two? Higher than, yeah. Um, I don't know how that works. Well, basically, I mean, we do yeah, have, have some money in the printing um, um, account. Um, and we also have a little bit in the communications so I would like to take this out of the communications because I think that's what this is more closely related to. Um, so oh, remember we have that Fall Fest bill. What was the the bill that we got from the newspaper? Yes, and I morning. have that, okay. and that's nine hundred dollars. Okay. Those are, okay. So wait a minute. Let me see what it is, just so we don't. That might give us a thing. It's 9.30 it is. 9.30 the, we have out of that. Um, so we could take it out of the communications um, because basically we're going to have the EDC or the um, Business Association, that's going to have to come out of the printing budget and uh, to that $125. Um, so I'd like to propose that out of the communications budget... Um, we allot, um, would you be okay with 300? Sure. Okay. Let's do 300. And then if you find that you do need more, um, let us know and maybe we can do something at our next meeting, but let's, let's make it so that yeah. we could think of, um, of 300, 
because I think this really looks good. You've done a lot of work on this. It looks like it could be something I think that would be great for the whole business community here. Um, and let's, um, let's do that if there's support around the table. I, I think we've got money available to do it. Um, all these budgets are pretty tight. Um, so uh, we have to really say this is what we want to do because we're, we will run out of money before. I mean, this has to go to... <laughs> to July, so. Uh, but the I only think thing this... we have coming up between now and then, after the stroll, is the new guides. Yes. Right. Yep. And then any work that we might want to do on the five town, or I'm sorry, the zoning thing. Yeah. Yep. And you know that's going to be another one that's going to have to probably come out of communications is kind of what that is earmarked for. Um, we can also go back to the Board of Finance. They said, they mentioned that if there is something that we want to do, whatever it be, oh, oh, we well, can go back to them and say... Anything that we're doing for the, basically for the zoning-wise, that's definitely got to be... Um, go back to finance. That's got to go to Board of Finance. Sure. And uh, we'll see what kind of money we're talking about for that. But that's going to be, you know, that's the several thousand dollars. Right, and that's that. down the road too. And that's down the road. So, but um, but I think that um, let's take and and take the um, three hundred dollars out of communications, um, and and then um, we have seventeen fifty in there yeah. allocated. Yeah. And Will three hundred be enough to do it as an insert in the paper too? No. Mm -hmm. No, the insert's two fifty, isn't it? Insert's two fifty plus, plus printing. the printing cost of making right. the card. And how we're going to distribute it? Yeah, I mean, it, we'd have to go to five hundred if we were going to try to, you know, finance something to do um, something in the newspaper. And you know, for a one-time event, I don't know whether we can justify. Five hundred dollars out of a out of that budget to do a, a one time event thing, but well, we won't you know, insert it in the paper. We'll put it all over town like the snow globe. Blast it all over town again. Yeah, I I I think that uh, I I think it, I, I would feel perfectly comfortable with three hundred dollars and and do the printing of it, I'll do whatever you can, can do with it, around. and um, and you know make I think that's a donation that would be you know something that would be reasonable from economic development, but. That's up to the board, and if somebody wants to move on that, that's fine. If, and if we don't feel comfortable doing that, that's fine too. Well, how do you plaster them all over town? Do you put them in a drugstore and in a grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Well, yeah. You know? Yeah. How do we get it out? We have those are the high traffic areas. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, for, for the fall weekend, I put them. Yeah. Deep River, Chester. I put them in the surrounding towns yeah. as well. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Shagbark. Yeah. The drugstore. There's yeah. But. If we hit, you know, the high traffic places that we have left, yeah. I think, yeah, I think we're okay. And yeah. Grandview. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of traffic going over there. <laughs> I didn't see anybody but the other guy cutting wood. <laughs> <laughs> but, the restaurants. You can put them in the restaurants. Yeah. yeah. The steam train. Yeah. The yeah. places like that. It's, it's, it's cute. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, if the board feels, you know, they'd like to spend, you know, 500, you know, that's fine and dandy. Obviously, you'll get a lot more coverage um, if you, you know, can get it out through uh, the newspapers. Uh, but... Uh, or some of more supporters. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, I'll get it in the newspaper and the calendar, and we'll probably get some kind of article coming in soon, you know, to go in there so people can know that a village stroll is happening and what's happening and all the different things. So... We'll get that press, but that'll only be one issue, and it won't be something where they can rip it out and take it and put it in their pocket and say, okay, we want to hit up this and this and this. And that's one reason why we want to do that card, because I think people will like it. And the one, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to it. I was looking for it before the meeting. I had a really nice card that I picked up in Gettysburg when I was there last year at Christmas time, and it was just so great. And it was about that size, and like I said, you could stick it in a purse, in your pocket, fold it, whatever. But it was pretty. You know, it was a pretty thing, and it was Christmassy, and... You know, it was like Christmas card looking, and it was really nice. Mm -hmm. So I think that would go over well. Mm -hmm. And we can even have it there at the event so that when they go to different places, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we put them on the selfie sticks on a little holder mm -hmm. so they could pick them up and they have them, and it's almost, you know, a keepsake 
mm -hmm. sort of, you know, but it's something that they could take with them. Can we print it off to get into the schools? That's free distribution. Yep, we could send it home in the schools. Yeah, we were planning on flyering the schools um, just to do the flyers. Yeah. You know, and again, we might have some money in addition from the sponsorships because we're still trying to collect all this before next week's meeting on it. Um, so whatever else we collect above and beyond what we want to pay the performers and things, we might have some more money to add to the budget of mm -hmm. the of the printing. Publicity. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for the luminaries and stuff too because we'll need that. But um, we could maybe add to that, and if it turns out that we get enough, maybe we will go ahead and get it printed and put it in the paper if we get it. Okay. You know, but it's its first year. I think it's going to be bigger than it was last year. Yeah. And that's the point. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, whatever but, you guys decide is fine with me. Obviously, yeah. the more the better, but... I think you've done a great job in getting that much put together. That's great. And, uh, We've been and working on it for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know, it, but it's still, it you're, you're, you're doing good. And uh, so I think that that looks really good. So what's the feeling of the board? What would... What would they like to do, or? Um, I would think five, five hundred. Okay, that's you're really pushing a budget to do it, but uh, you know you you, I mean, you throw whatever just, you want just in the, the table. I mean, the, the printing costs are, are gonna yeah, to seed it up. Yeah. Okay. No. You want to throw it on the table as a motion? Uh, go motion go for it. Motion five hundred dollars. Okay. Anybody want to make a second on uh, $500 uh, for this uh, program? Uh, sure, I'll do that. You'll do that. Okay. All right. We got a motion on the floor, and it's seconded. Um, any other thoughts? Um, all right. All those in favor of a $500 donation to the holiday if, celebration? Can you amend it to say up to 500 You can certainly can. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're going to give them like a line of credit up to five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, and, uh, and so I have faith. okay, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we'll we'll go from there then. Okay, so there's up to up to five hundred dollar uh, donation from EDC to the fall or to the um, uh, holiday celebration. Aye. 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 All right, so uh, I would Thanks, say everybody. that uh, motion carries unanimously. Now, no, I think that's uh, very nice and uh, and certainly be able to carry on uh, with what you're trying to do there. We will. All Let's right. Keep going. That's great. That's great. So the other thing I have on my list is, um, um, and no more money stuff, um, <laughs> um, is I went to um, the Opportunity Zone conference down in, um, up in, where was I? Rocky Hill, Hartford Marriott, wherever I was, I don't even know. I've been in so many different places. But the reason I wanted to go to this was because this is something from Malloy. Malloy set up this program where they, somebody, I don't even remember who, um, got together and dis discerned 72 opportunity zones in urban areas. So they're in New Britain, they're in Norwich, they're in Hartford, they're in Waterbury, they're in Bridgeport. They're, so we don't have an opportunity zone, although I kept telling everybody that day, I don't have an opportunity zone, but we're full of opportunity. <laughs> um, but that's the only marketing I did for East Haddam because, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to see how other towns marketed their towns at an opportunity zone thing, because this is what we need to do. Um, and this is all going to go into his office too, to show him. But I just figured I would show you guys that, you know, these towns had folders and, you know, they have stickers, they have a walking map. They have um, inspect sheets on buildings that are available for sale and what the uses could be. This is something I talked about how many years ago yep. I mentioned to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the kind of stuff that you'll see when you go to these Are these things. all in opportunity zones? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. And what they did at this particular conference is they had um, booths set up on the back side of the room where they spoke. And Lehman came in. He's the head of the DECD. And um, Lamont was there, and he, you know, gave a spiel. So I just figured I'd show you guys these. These, this one's from New Britain. Here's one in Middletown, um, you know. And here's, here's their city of Middletown, their palm card or their street card for a particular piece of property that's available to develop. And it's a glossy, hard piece of paper 
with it outlined, what's owned by the city, what's a private acre behind it. So you can take a look at these. They have these books, these beautiful books. Like, we don't need this, but this is kind of what the Explore Connecticut Shoreline is doing for us. So maybe between what we pull together for that, we can turn it into something like this. But you can look at this book, and I brought, like I said, I brought everything that I collected so you guys can see. Um, this one's East Hartford Opportunity Zones and the different parcels of property, and then, you know, a further, and this isn't even as glossy, yeah. okay? Um, but again, it's a picture, it's a possible rendering, it's selling the piece of property, and we have properties that we've sat on forever and ever, and we could do something with it in this way, okay? Even, even Hamden has a little little brochure about who to contact, director of economic development, you know, what we do, what we like to do. And I know we've talked a little bit about, or it's been on the, the, the um, um, agenda about doing our mission and all that. You know, this is what we need to do. This is what Windsor did, or Wyndham, excuse me, town of Wyndham. Why Wyndham? You know, good mm -hmm. folks, good things, you know. But I mean, some of this stuff is really simple. Some of it's pretty Wyndham pretty has fun. an opportunity zone? I believe so. Oh, now, so this is Mansfield, and you know, Yukon, really, and they get an opportunity zone. Um, but whatever. Isn't it? Yeah, it's very so, well done. In some of these books, when you look at them, you will see that some of these books, like this Middletown book, it's paid for by advertisers. People are advertising. That's why they printed this. Mm -hmm. This isn't this isn't something no, that the yeah, EDC Liberty paid Bank for. has. Liberty Bank, a whole page, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's their headquarters. But look, all the ads in the back. I mean, they had ads that did this. You know, mm -hmm. this is you know this is yearbook stuff. You know, so there, it's a lot of good stuff. This is Groton. Um, explore more about Groton. Here's what Groton's all about. Where we are. This is where you want to be. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I saw. So this is why I went. It's really cool. There's stuff that we can look at these and pull stuff out. Here's Windsor. Um, here's Willimantic. Riverfront Recapture in Torrington. This is their one little sheet. This is vision of a project that they want to do in Torrington. So you guys can, like, take a look at these. I kind of just said I'd bring these and you guys can drool over them. Yeah. Opportunity Zone in New Haven. You know, but it's really good <coughs> stuff. And it's not, I mean, this This is New Haven, okay? New Haven's got to have money, but look what they did. This, like, little rinky-dink thing. No, I mean, we could make something guide. better. I mean, our visitor guide yeah, is be better. better than this, right? Yeah. But I think we need some kind of, this is what we're all about. We do have an Open a Business in East Haddam book that we give people to say, these are the steps and all that. But I think to go out of East Haddam and bring in you know, if, if Rob or whoever ends up being coming first selectman in the future needs something to go out with and he goes out with a folder that looks like these folders, mm -hmm. don't you think that that's just going to read that much better? And mm -hmm. I think we need to equip all of mm -hmm. us with something better that looks, you know, whatever. So here's a whole pile that you guys can look at and just, like I said, drill over. And I think this is, you know, going to things like this, it opens our eyes to right. what other people are doing. And, and that's why, that's and what, what I went for. what works and what doesn't work. I'm not going to get work. a developer coming here yet. But. How expensive is something like that book? Yeah, I mean, I'd have to check, yeah. you know. And that would be a, a town budget, not an EPC, yeah. because it would benefit the town, yeah. obviously. So that would be their budget, not necessarily our budget. Or, or it's something or, we could put into EDC sure. budget right. next year and say, this is what we want to produce. Yeah, because this is amazing. Yeah. But yeah, but you look at—I mean, it has ads, so the ad, some of the ads are paying for that, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, uh, nice. what is the East Haddam brochure in EDC budget? Why isn't that a town budget? Because basically, we we do it, and you know that I don't have any problem in, in you know putting it through the EDC budget. Um, it's a popular item of the board right. of finance. No. You know, when they go to make a presentation of the budget. That's one of the key things I always give to the board member, yeah. um, and everybody is always very impressed. And and that part of the budget always gets approved. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why we have uh, the in the budget what we have. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, our printing uh, budget. You know, we have three thousand um, dollars that got approved for that budget item, and um, and that's mm -hmm. basically a. You know, we're going to need more of those for next year with the uh, most oh, areas. Absolutely, because we're Mystic we got a, I, I think we only have that one right. box left. Uh, Mystic yeah, a section of Broughton? Yeah. Because that's the front of the So I think that... Uh, Excuse me. Yep. On the, on the Groton booklet, 
That's a picture of Mystic, isn't it? Uh, is Mystic a part of yes. Groton? Yes. Yeah. What's it on that like one side of the river? Yeah. It's Groton on the other side. It's Stony. Mystic. Or Stony. No, Stonington. But, but um, when you get Groton, to the bridge, it's Stonington. It's interesting. They have one side of Mystic. Gone. Yeah. Other is Main Stony. Street. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Groton and Mystic are the same town. Both oh, the parts same town. Yeah. Same town hall? Yep. Oh, yep. Really? Yep. Really, huh? Well, but and and then that side and the then road. Stonington is a piece of it There's too. Yeah, the boat's yeah, right. So as soon as you go over the bridge, yeah. then you're in Stonington. And right. uh, but uh, same so, town, same town uh, hall. Yeah. Same tax base. Yeah. yeah. And that's a big part of their tax base. I guess base. so. Uh, Groton really likes that little part of their yeah. that are uh, real taxable real estate. Yeah. 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 And uh, and Noank is in there too because that's pretty right. mystic. Yeah. yeah. And Groton Long Point, uh, we we're all familiar mm -hmm. with that place, right? Sure. I mean, another nice uh, <laughs> grand list They're item, doing great that's for down sure. There. sure. Wow. And uh, so, uh, no. So didn't... I'll start looking at what we have. We have a lot of good stuff in our guide that you know is just kind of precursor kind of stuff. We also have stuff on the website about EDC, and I'll kind of try and combine that. Mm -hmm. And start turning it into something, and you know, bring it back to you guys, and you can take a look and let me know what you want to continue with, you know. But I think we really do need to start looking at piece like this and give people yeah. something a little bit more substantial. Well, I think we need yeah. to start to build a case so that we, when we, I mean, February is budget time, yeah. so we need to basically come up with something like this. Say this is what we want to do have prices as to what it would cost, and say, this is what economic development wants to get into the budget. And I mean, it would be a printing item. And uh, yeah. so there's a line item for it right now, um, and we just want to increase that line item because we want to have our visitor's guide, and we also want to basically have something like this to sell yeah. the product out there. Excuse me, where would you um, uh, like market that? Where would you put that, at the front desk? Yeah, I would think I would have them. You know, one of the things that... EDC, right? Yeah. One happen. of the things we're trying to work on is... Yeah. I actually started with Emmett. Is I made a form and I talked to Bob about it. I think we need... A, like, when somebody comes in and they have a business interest in our town, they should, you know, meet with me right. first or meet with economic development yeah. first as opposed to walking into the business department or the zoning, building department, building department, the zoning department, department and say, no, you can't do a restaurant there, and they right. leave. Never to be heard from again. We've always had that problem. We've talked about that for years. Yeah. So but when they leave with something like this. They this leave with something like this. Yeah. They leave amazing. with possibilities. Mm -hmm. I, I had a conversation yeah. with a gal who wants to start a prepared foods. Mm -hmm. And so we just chatted and we just talked about it. And at the same time, I had the um, Chatham Health. I um, can't think of her name right off the top of my head. But anyway, she was there. So she could talk to her about, because she had questions about, the, the whole food thing. Right. And, and she's I was just like, food I supply. don't have answers. Let me get the food supply person, you know, the food person from the health department in here at the same time so that you can get a lot of your questions answered. And she was very appreciative that we were both there. And she's interested in this kind of space and that kind of space. And so she was wondering about this. And I'm off the top of my head, I'm thinking, well, we could look at this. We could look at that. There's yeah. space here. These are things that are happening here. Where do you live? Maybe we can find a place near where you live. You know, so there's all kinds of we want, we want, we want you, we want you. And they don't get that when they walk into the business department and the business, or the, I'm sorry, the building department, and they just say, no, you can't do that. So I know, I have her name. I know her husband's name. Yeah, I know where they live. You know, and this is stuff that I saw her the other day, and she was like, hey, Irene, how you doing? You know, I mean, this is stuff that you need to, you need to, you need to, you know, you need to take care of it. You need to it. build it. You need to build it you know, up. Yeah. And, uh, how can we get the people directed? Right. So what happens is, is that I put together this form that I'm trying to have people fill out and they give it to me. And then I, in turn, take that form yeah. to the building department myself and say, this is what I've got. Where do you think, you know, what sites do we have? These are the sites that we may, may be interested in. This is the kind of site, how much room they need or yeah. how much land they need or how many, you know, square footage they need. They need refrigeration. They don't. They need septic. They don't. And then we can look at everything that's available and say that could work, that could work. I also want to talk to Bob about, you know, what properties do we have that are owned by landlords because we don't have that database. We don't know what spaces are available only because I know that Fred's going to build a building. I know he's got some spaces, you know. I don't know what Bob owns as far as businesses and buildings. 
maybe he has a space or maybe there's a space that he knows that somebody's leaving. So we need to have all of that information come to one place. And I'm not necessarily looking to be the information person, but if it's, only, if it's going to a central location and then we can have that available to people who are looking for opportunity, then we're, again, open for business. And I think that is really key. It's we have a we beautiful can, place to live and it's a beautiful place to have a business. And there's plenty of businesses here that are thriving and have been here for years. And we need some more. Well, we've come a long way. Remember our meetings just uh, <coughs> three, four, five years ago? Uh, we would make jokes about do we hide behind the building department's door? And uh, when people come in to ask where, where can we open a bit, grab them before they talk to certain individuals, <laughs> grab them and bring them out into the hallway. <coughs> And, you know, right. It's, right. That's really what it is. Yeah. It's really what it is. Well, I don't know if you've got Once, to once they go here. into zoning, we lose them. Right. We, they're well, gone. You guys, that's you right. know where my office is, right? Yes. So I'm the first yeah. door on the right as you come in past yeah. the IT. And when I'm here, that light is on, the door is open, and yeah. I have now have took the sign from, from the Bergerons who gave us that sign because we have a new business of the month sign. And I put it outside the door. It looked good too. I like. I want to fix it. I don't like it, but it's the first door on the right when you come in the hallway. <laughs> okay, I'm turning around. Okay, we're not in the first across that. When you come in, you, the the town clerk is on the left. Well, I know where. Yeah, across from the cafeteria where we meet. Yeah. So when I'm here, I have that sign out. But the point is, is that people are seeing empty. Guess who else's door is open now? Not the zoning department. The building department door. Really? Yes. I'll be darned. Isn't that funny? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know why they don't get rid of these doors anyway. Oh, this, the, the, well, and there are not even any glass in them. Right. I mean, it take and, and you, don't even, know this is, you don't even uh, know there's a meeting in here. But that's a good, this is something a little different. Uh, that's a good example of signage because you want to reach out and grab them. Yeah, you know, you're trying to get something with the right color. Is it yellow, blue, green? What's going to reap? They see it because they can walk right by the door mm -hmm. closed. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, but if you reach out and kind of grab them as you're doing with the sign, what, I was going to say that's uh, that's, that's sandwich that. board. I'll tell you, that catches my eye when I walk in the place. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I mean, I just I made this something really quick. I need more letters. It's, it says welcome. <laughs> Because I need to change the F to an E. <laughs> I need a black Sharpie. I did get the letters, but the letters that were on that, it does. It was interesting because I looked at the ad for the, for the sign, and it says non-yellowing. Everything went yellow. <laughs> um, but anyways, I have the new letters, but there's not enough. Like I'm out of E's and I'm out of something else because I want to write economic development mm -hmm. because not people know what EDC is. Yes. But I, I need to get another bunch of letters, so that might be another little mm -hmm. supply thing we need to order. Yeah, but that can't be a lot. I was going to say, that would yeah. that spell that out. Yeah, that's what I think yes. too, but yeah. I, I don't have don't enough. Know, I got people don't like know what EDC economic, is. I got economic, econom, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying I'm to figure out how can I make this, and I didn't want it. You know, it's I didn't a pretty want big sign. <laughs> Economic yes. development, I think I need a bigger one. <laughs> that's all right. We'll make it work. But yes. I think that's what we need to do is we need to, you know, we need to put that sign out and people need to know we're yeah. there, you know. Yep. So. And the girls on the front desk, I'm sure Debbie and Beth, uh, they must be helpful and help direct because that's technically where people are going first. To the. Yeah, sometimes they go in there, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, once we have this form. Up, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is give some to them so that people do come in there and it's like on a yeah. I have excuse right. me I have regular office hours from 12 to 5 on Tuesdays I don't get people but I you tell me Deb can text me yeah. hey you got somebody here I'll yeah. run in if I can but if I can't just tell them I'll call them by the end of the day yeah you know hold it I call I'll call by the end of the day and we'll get going yeah. you know so but that's what we need to do is we really need to stop them there and then I can go in and talk to Jimmy all day long and right. know, find this. But you can't just go in there and, you know, people who want to open business right. and then they're gone. Uh, yeah, excuse me. The, uh, the main door for the selectman's office, that technically isn't used, is it? The front door of yeah, the building? No. Door. That's just for luck. So yeah, they don't even promote people to go up there. No. It's actually closed. Right. right. Yeah, you okay. can't go so in that the main way. entrance it's, it's, is here, so when people walk in, they're automatically going to the right. I mean, first. 
Uh, to Debbie's. Oh, to Deb, Debbie's yeah. Department. Yeah, they kind of look down there. Absolutely sometimes they problem. go that way. Sometimes they go left and they're like yeah. lost because they don't know where anything that's is. That's probably the information center, isn't it? Yes, it, it is. is. And, it uh, is. They're okay with that. Debbie's okay with that. She doesn't mind that. That's not. Some people say that's not my job. Uh, yeah, and right. I, I don't. She's very I, no, they're very helpful. I think that you know. Her and Beth. We Beth. don't. We don't have a lot of traffic in this building. Yeah. This building is absolutely huge, and for the number of people that come in this building, it's almost like they like to see somebody to talk yeah. to, because there's yeah. just no traffic in here. And, uh, I'm very busy. Well, good thing those are glass doors. Can you imagine if they had the wooden door? Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, what does go on in this place? <laughs> but so I don't think that anybody's going to, you know, not help somebody because I think that they they like a little bit of traffic coming in, and uh, and I, I think that it, it would be good to. Lonely. Yeah, like <laughs> it, does, it gets lonely in this place. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else? No, just that um, we got contacted by the Kinetic Examiner. He's somebody who's looking to do a little bit more on the business beat and wants to talk to us, economic development, about what's going on in East Haddam. He wrote a really great article about nutmeg coming into East Haddam. Um, that was in the Kinetic Examiner. It was a nice article. I actually gave it to the East Side of News to say, hey, this guy covered everything. You know, you might want to look into something further, but this is a good article and it came out really fast. Yeah. So um, he wants to talk to us and, you know, more press is more press. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So why any, not? Any, anything so we'll, we, any, anybody wants to print, I say go to it. Yeah, so. I'll reach out to him and tell him, yeah, when can we talk? Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, just like to give you a little update on the... Uh, you know, we've been working with planning and zoning on that uh, zoning for the uh, south side of uh, Town Street. Um, Jim and I have been working on that, and uh, along with two members of uh, PNZ, I think we have the map uh, pretty well finalized now. Um, and we're now going to have a meeting with um, possibly some uh, professionals so they can give us a little idea as to uh, what it might cost to make this into some kind of a presentation that we could, number one, make to P and Z, and number two, make to the general public. And um, so I think that that's going to happen in the next few weeks, uh, that we'll have a meeting uh, and hopefully we'll start to get some numbers, and then we'll bring that back to the board and, and let you know what uh, we find uh, and see what kind of th enthusiasm we can get from and what kind of a presentation we can make um, to the boards and to the general public and what it might cost. And so, uh, Jim, you have anything no. like that to that? That covers it. Okay. And uh, so, so uh, that's where we are in that. Um, proposed expansion of the industrial area. Um, nothing is going on with that. That was basically shag bark. Um, I think that they're concentrating on putting on that addition right now and not working on uh, expanding uh, into their further property. I have a question about that. Sure. I was looking at the zoning book, yep. trying mm -hmm. to figure out what they wanted to do. Did they want to have an industrial area in the area that's light commercial? Or they, they want to have light industrial? The, no, basically, they um, Right now, they're in that IG2 zone. Oh, IG2. Yes, they're IG2. Shy Park is IG2. Okay, you said an IG. Oh, so the IG1 zone over there. It, that's basically the industrial area. Okay. So that you go up on Matthews Drive. That's IG1. What they were talking about is to the rear of, of Shag Park. Uh, basically, the power lines going east, they were looking to get what has been proposed as an IG-3. And an IG-3 was going to be light um, um, in, uh, industrial use. And that's what they were talking so, about. So that's, that's what the goal is, IG-3. IG-3, yes. Yep. Okay. And Because uh, those had heavier uses. Yeah. Than, I was trying to make some sense out of what, yeah. what little was on here. Yeah, and IG3 is a zone now. It's basically where the town garage is, where the highway department is. So it has trucks and that kind of stuff. And that's what they were looking for. And, um, okay. Um, 
We have uh, business of the month, um, and I believe we have um, Eddie's on for this month. Yeah, can you come tomorrow for a photo, tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow afternoon? At some point? Yeah, yeah. All right. What time are we thinking? Uh, tomorrow, my Friday is crazy. Um, I have to go to Jack Jackter for a assembly. Is Rob available? Yeah, tomorrow yeah. afternoon he is. Okay. I'll, well, I imagine they're okay, right? And, and I almost need somebody else to get the picture. I need to be at 11. <laughs> well, want to do it early next week, Monday or Tuesday next week? You available then? Well, no, because I want to try and get it in the paper this week. Oh. I mean, want to get in for, the, for next week. Yeah. Because it's already the 8th yeah, or going to yeah. be the 8th. Yeah. I wonder if we can do it at like five o'clock. It's dark. No, it's we can do it inside. That's what's in, that's what's interesting in his. Actually, it is. Lights. Yeah. Okay. All right. And they got a lot of light in there. I mean, it's bright. Yeah. I'm supposed to meet Gina at three three thirty in Middletown. Um. Let me check and see if that's happening. Okay. Wait. All right. We'll either do it at 5 or we can do it earlier at like 3.30. Okay. Okay. All right. So somewhere between 3.30 and 5. All right. Just give me a text I and will. let me know uh, if you want to do it at 3.30, but I'll kind of put it in for 5 o'clock unless I hear from you differently. Okay. And then if you want to do it earlier, that's great. Yeah. Does that work for you? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll figure and I, at 5 o'clock. Rob said he was available tomorrow afternoon, so. Okay. All right. And I didn't hear from Jess, so I'll go there again. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. And um, and then if I can make a suggestion on um, business of the month, you know we're talking about incubator space. We're talking about you know pulling these people out of their garages and all that. Let's get a small business that's in kind of a garage or what people don't know about. So I have a friend. Her name is Christina Steel Curtain. She is a um, she's Geneva Jewelry. She imports crystals from. Um, or stones from Italy, and she creates jewelry right here in East Haddam. She does it next to Anino, over here in um, Anino Gym, uh, next to where oh. Mount Meg Pharmacy is going to go in. Yep. Um, and she's um, creating the jewelry there. She sells it at Bradley, at in Newport, Rhode Island, and at Mystic. And she's got an unbelievable. I'm thinking it's pretty, you know, a lot of money. Beautiful jewelry. People love it, and nobody knows about it, and it's happening right here. So I just thought that it might be kind of a way to kind of pull people out of the darkness and say, look what we've got going on, um, and that is also kind of a precursor to, you know, talking about an incubator in a couple of months and saying, come on, people, come out of your garages. Look what's happening, and what are people doing? And, you know, so I'm just suggesting I'm going to throw that out there on the table to, to kind of... Right. Move that forward and yeah. bring it out. So and and I just one. had one other one. I thought that um, Jimmy Curtin is basically celebrating 50 years of being in the construction oh, business. And is it is. going into next year? I wonder if that would be like a good New Year one. Yeah, you know? Do like I don't know. I'm just. I mean, you know. It, it, yeah. I thought hers yeah. for jewelry would be good for but, gifts. Yeah. So it would help her. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, and, and maybe. I mean, you'd have to go to town to buy it. But maybe that would spur her to maybe open up a storefront here. Oh, she just right. does basically the work here? She just manufactures here. here. Assembles. By appointment only, maybe. She could. Wow. That's up to her. But yeah. No, I, th I think that's a real good idea. Mm -hmm. I do. And, yeah. uh, but I do think that I'd like to recognize Jim too. 50, 50 years yeah. is a pretty we need, big we milestone. We need to put that in the newspaper too. So maybe that will be good for January. Okay. All right. And, uh, just, just a thought. Yeah. 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 No? And uh, so I think that, uh, and actually, you know, Christmas time might be nice to take and have somebody jewelry. like what you're talking about. We might about. be able to get a couple ads out of her, too, for yeah. the paper. Yeah. So, uh, no, all right. Um, any other suggestions for basically the month of December? Anybody want to throw anything on the table? Um, if, if there is anything that anybody knows that, you know, any particular business uh, that's happening in February or March or April, let us know so that we can recognize them um, if they're celebrating any particular uh, 
anniversary or something like that. Could, could, could we get a list of all of the businesses in town so we can go through the list and check them all off? Yeah. Or? Yeah, because we, we got, it's, what, 200? It's hard because, like, the East Haddam Business Association has a list, right. um, and that's kind of a closed list. If you're a member, you can get it, but if you're not a member, you can't. And then the state, uh, state, the town has a business listing on their website, which some of them are on both lists, some of them aren't. Um, how many are on you can the go town's to the state. list? How many I don't know how town? many are on the town's list. It's hard to tell is because... Is a business, like, in the 225 bracket or something? I think so. Okay. The business association only has, I think, 54 or 56 members. Yeah, but they have some of them the are out of town. base. Yeah, some yeah. of them are out of town. But I, I think when you looked into it last year, right. just the home base business was close to 200. Yeah, I think there's like yeah. 200 of them. You, you can go to the state, and there is business listing. Those who have a tax ID number, you can get that, the ones that are, that are housed. But mm -hmm. then there are people who are operating businesses that don't have tax ID numbers. Right. You know, so... You, it's a real ambiguous kind of number, you know, and, mm. and there's so many lists, and we haven't been able to really... Well, how, how, what's the town's list? What is that list? Is there 100 it's, on it, you think? I, you know, I don't even know, and the problem, the reason I don't know is because the way they have it to access it is you go into the town website, and there's, like, categories. It's like, you open insurance, you'll see me. I'm not doing insurance anymore. You know, I mean, and they have to update it, but I'm just saying you... You have to open the, the category and then you see the business or business. Wow, you got to open each one of these categories? And yeah, so right and it's it's for users. Like if I'm looking for mm -hmm. a plumber, I can go in and I can see who's the plumbers in town. If I'm looking for a roofer, I can go in and see the roofers. You know, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, so it's not friendly to take and come up with a list of who's there. include everybody. Yeah. Campgrounds, I can see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Liquor stores. Oh, but look, but the answer, uh, Jim, <laughs> yeah, Jim, yeah. Signs up. Yeah, well, right. Signs up. Sign up. <laughs> Looks good. But to answer Jim's question, is there a way in which we could get a list? I will see if Linda can give me, if there's a way for her to access the, just the, <clears throat> the, Linda? the list. Linda is the one who kind of does a lot of the updating on the website for now. They're also working on a new website that's going to come out, and so maybe yeah. okay. there's a place so where it's separate. Would the business association out. have a list? Or start well, they just have ones that are members of their right. business association, and some of them are like people who are out of town who are business, okay. you know. So we'd have to call it for just East Haddam businesses, but that would be up to them as to whether or not they'll share it with us. Is throw that something they would share or not? No, throw it out there. Okay, yeah. all right, and uh, and, and you it, can just tell them that the reason we want it is just purposes of. You know, a, 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 a business of the a month. Basically, yeah. yeah, looking up and see what business are, are there that we could put into different categories. A new business, anniversary for 20 years or 25 years or anything like that. And uh, and, and I just wanted to mention that this, you know, it's just like this $1,000 that, you know, Eversource was, was, you know, basically donating. It had to go through the business association. And then on the other hand, you know, we have one hundred and twenty. $25 going to the business association. You know, we have to play this little game as to what we can do, and I think we've got a great working relationship here between the business association and EDC. Mm -hmm. Now, if we find there's a there's an extra buck somewhere that, that works going through another agency, then find mm -hmm. it dandy. Yeah. And uh, it's like the expo. It has to go through EDC because it has to be associated with a, a town agency so in order to use this the building. building. The, the, a private person can't come in here and use this building. So, you know, EDC makes it available for the business association to, to put on a program. And so, you know, it, it's certainly a good working, works, working yeah. relationship yeah. here. And, uh, and it seems like uh, it's getting better all the time, too. So, um, so Brian Perry just told me that assume 975 to 1050, but he left all his pricing it off. At work, so I don't that? know if that's right. What is it? He's saying nine seventy-five to ten fifty. Oh God, no! Yeah, I don't think that's right. No, huh? no. For how many? I think he, he I must be 5, talking 000. glossy uh, paper and uh, boy. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that's, and if that's his price, then we'll go elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 I mean, so we'll go run it off on the machines huh? in here. Is he mad? Is he lost? No more deals for you. <laughs> All right, I just have um, uh, one bill uh, basically from uh, our printing costs uh, from the um, fall weekend, and that was the uh, printing of the insert and putting it in the paper, and that came to $930. So we owe the East Haddam News $930 for that um, 
um, printing of that. And that really worked good because that we had a really a good weekend. And I was very impressed with uh, and, and it's also always impressive to see people walking around with it in their hand. And uh, so you, you just get a feeling that it is it out there and it is working. And, uh, it's and too what bad Triple League canceled our bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird, right? Canceled our camp out yeah. canceled the bonfire. Yeah. But, uh, right? but basically, I think that uh, what Staley's had, 700, they said, uh, that was per day, I, I believe. Per day. 700 per day went through Staley's Vineyards over That's there great. and the cider yeah. uh, barn. Uh, the cider barn has been doing a fabulous business. They're just expanding their hours, too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when you see that, uh, I was over at the uh, uh, Palmer Warner property, and they were over 200, went through that house. First time they've ever opened the Amasa Day house. Mm -hmm. They had it 75 who walked through that, and that was only open from 11... 11 to, to 1. Noon. 10 to noon, and then they did Warner, Palmer Warmer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one to, one to noon, four. and then they went to the noon. four. Yeah. But I mean, it was nice to be able to actually get into that uh, house. They've been doing work inside, too, yeah. and uh, which is yeah, nice. I saw them painting outside yeah. before that weekend. Yeah, yeah. that, uh, yeah, that house hasn't been touched in place years. Up, you know? Yeah. yeah, but I think that. Yeah. Uh, uh, that a lot of that uh, came about by having these fall weekends that got them involved, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and they already I told you they contacted us already. When I contacted them to see how it went for them, they said, you know, when's it going to be next year? We've got to put it in the calendar right away. So, so that's good. yeah, real good sign. So I think very positive. So if someone could make a motion that uh, to authorize us to uh, pay that bill to East Haddam News. So I'm opposed. Okay, got a motion. Anybody second it? Second it. Any discussion on that? All those in favor of uh, paying East Adam News for the uh, the nine hundred and thirty dollars? Aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carries. Um, the bill to the uh, for the one hundred and twenty five dollars for the uh, business association. We will act upon that and get that over to you. Okay, and um, basically asking the public, and doesn't seem to be anybody uh, in the public tonight, so uh, we will close the public part of our comments, and anybody else have anything they'd like to throw on the table? All right. Make a motion so we adjourn. All right. Geneva is the business of the month for December. Yes. Really oh, oh, okay. That. Yeah, we didn't Geneva, say, do that. That's the, yeah. that's the name of it. Yeah, Geneva. Sure. Geneva Jewelry. Okay. okay. All right. Is that, did we do a motion on I that or not? No, that you I don't did. think we did. We okay. did. Okay. okay. Then uh, before we uh, adjourn, I'd like to um, have somebody make a motion to that effect. What is it? Gen Geneva. Geneva. Yep. Geneva. G I N E V A. For November. For December. For December. It would be Eddie's December. Is November. And oh, in January. Oh, can we do both? you could do both if yeah, you like. Yeah, we could do that. Mm -hmm. yep. And it's done. Yep. That would be awesome for me. Okay. I'm and running around like Okay, crazy. so we have uh, Geneva for December, and we have Jim Curtin, Curtin Construction for um, January. That motion. All those? And we got a second? I second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So be it. We got it. All right, that would be great. And, I'm uh, going to do the renewal of the terms. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, basically, um, we have uh, a couple of our members that need to be um, reappointed. Um, Ralph needs to be reappointed, and Don needs to be reappointed. Um, so we would like to take and have a motion. And I'll, I'll make, make the motion that we... Uh, that the board acts upon um, a recommendation to uh, appoint Ralph and Don for another term uh, when serving on the Economic Development Commission. Anybody want to take a second? Two years. I'll second that. I won't tell you how many years. <laughs> 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 that's that's classified information. I'm sorry, I won't be able to share that with you, Don. <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to share it with Ralph. <laughs> Two more years left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had a motion. And I second. Six years?
<laughs> will you Just let them? Let, Ed, right? Will you let us get a motion on the floor before you tell them that? <laughs> we need a second. I second. You second it. All those in favor? Before two members run out the door, scowling and screaming. Aye. Aye. <laughs> locked in. And you're locked Aye. in. <laughs> a question, Bob. How long is a term? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Five years. So they're signed up now for five years. <laughs> so a you're not up yet. When are you up? Six, Next 30, June. 21. Oh no, two years. You got two years yeah, before two you're years. up. Two years. Okay. okay. You got a sentence for two years. Yeah. I haven't been here three years. <laughs> well, I don't know. well, you I'm probably not filled not an an, uh, an unexpired term. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when we first go on. It's an unexpired okay. term. <laughs> 